Hi, I'm Greg Acosta, editor of Engine Labs Magazine. And today we're gonna to have a little tech talk about why horsepower and torque always seem to cross at the same point on a dynograph. Um, really, it comes down to one thing. Uh, horsepower is actually, it's actually a calculation, and that is torque times RPM over 5252. Now, that number might look familiar because every dynograph you have ever seen in your life crosses at 5,252 RPM. Why? Well, if you're a math person, you've already figured it out. For the rest of us, at least for me anyway, it took some learning. So, at 5252 RPM, if RPM equals 52, 52, these cancel each other out, become one, and we can simplify that as horsepower equals torque. So there's the mathematical simplification. That's why horsepower will always equal torque at 5,252 RPM. All right, so there you have it. That's the answer. That is why mathematically, Torque will always equal horsepower at 5,252 RPM. But honestly, there's so much more to it than that. Uh, you might have heard tor or horsepower referred to as torque over time. Mathematically, that's not quite correct. We can see where everything is. But grammatically, it, it's correct. Uh, because horsepower is basically the number of times per second torque is happening. Let me explain. So at 2,500 RPM, you are having torque happen 42 times a second, okay? So 42 times per second, there's, an imp there's a power impulse and that makes X amount of horsepower, which we'll, we'll calculate. Now, at 5,000 RPM, obviously, you've doubled the RPM, so you've doubled the number of time impulses per second. Not quite exact, but that's close. And then let's jump up to 7,500. And then we get a nice even 125 impulses per second. So as you can see, going from 2,500 to 5,000 RPM, if we have the same torque, our horsepower should double. And then going from 5,000 RPM to 7,500 RPM, we're gonna increase by about 50%. So let's go ahead and actually run some numbers and see if that's correct. So let's go ahead and make believe a dynograph. And we're gonna say this magical engine, and I'm not gonna say magical, I've seen an engine do this, but it's not very common. All right, so there's 500 pound-feet of torque, right? And it's gonna make a nice flat torque curve. I mean, wouldn't we all kill for this engine? So here's 2,500 RPM, here's 5,000 RPM, here's 7,500 RPM. All right, cool. So let's do the first, the first equation. We're gonna go horsepower, equals torque, sorry, let me pull up my calculator here, my handy dandy calculator. All right, so we're gonna go 500 pound-feet of torque times 2,500 RPM, then we're gonna divide that by 52, 52, and we get 238 horsepower, okay? So if our equation holds, 5,000 is gonna come in at exactly double, right? So let's see. 500 pound-feet of torque times 5,000 RPM divided by 52.52, and we get 476, which is exactly double, right? So now at 7,500, what did we say? We, we figured this is gonna be 50% more. So let's go ahead and do it. We're gonna go 500 pound-feet of torque times 7,500 RPM equals divided by 5252. And now we have somewhere up there, 714 horsepower. Look at that. Nice straight graph and look where it crosses. That's a little, I mean, again, I'm making this up, but so it crosses at 5252. Now, what do we do if you have a graph and you see for some reason it does not cross here right at 52.52. Well, one of two things. One, the graph may not all, go all the way to 5,252. 
So see if you if you only ran up to say four thousand, you see right there. Actually, let's wipe that off. They never meet. They never cross. Fair enough. Also, there might be a situation where you see that they don't cross. They cross either earlier or later or up or down, whatever. Well, sometimes some dyno charts will show instead of this being five hundred for this will be five hundred pound feet, and they'll show a different scale on the right side. Now that, if you were to true up the scales and you know slide this up, once again, it's going to cross at 5252. If it doesn't cross at 5252, it's a make-believe dyno because the math says it has to cross at 5,252. Now, if you really wanna melt your minds and you wanna get into, you know, it actually, we, we wrote an article a couple years back uh, called Torque Talk. I'll leave the link in the description below uh, where we discuss pound feet. We actually define horsepower by James Watt. You know, it'll melt your ear or melt your brain. You're going to need earplugs to keep your you know brain from leaking out. But I suggest you go down and look. If this has intrigued you, go ahead and check out that article. Uh, we actually talked with an engineer from the Society of Automotive Engineers uh, to, to really dive into it. And I have since forcibly block that from my brain it, it hurt but this explains why horsepower and torque will always cross at 5252 rpm